Well, as promised, the Aston Martin, I guess 2011, Aston Martin Rapide. 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 Yes. Four-door, Aston's first four-door? First four-door, I guess competitor to the Panamera, they, they may say, or they may say there's no competition if uh, somebody from Aston Martin sales was here, but since that's not happened, we're here taking care of the business. Yeah, Ferrari, I guess, is coming out with something as well. Um, not not done yet. Uh, I would say this car has the advantage, at least from an exterior lines standpoint, over, over the, the Panamera. I think this car has way... First of all, I'm an Aston Martin fan, so the shape of this car looks natural to me. The bulbousy shape of the Panamera, that's so likable. It it's an awesome car, awesome car. Shape of the rear end, yeah. 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 Like a hot chick with a fat ass, but then you find out she can recite uh, every every single uh, Cheech and Chong album and uh, and uh, fa favorite movie is Spinal Tap, uh, and you, you go, all right, well maybe I, she's in. Now. I, you went way in. The, I thought you were gonna say can you use it as a cup holder or something. So, <laughs> yeah, you know. That's good too. All right, couple uh, styling cues. Uh, basically, looks a lot like a DB9. Uh, uh, they. I guess what you try to do when you when you're trying to add two doors to a two two doors that already exist is try not to make it ugly. Yeah, that's I mean, the hard part uh, because some of the cars they do the four door version just look kind of not right. This really looks blended well, which I th like again I think they did a better job styling wise than yeah. than the fine folks in Germany. You know when they have like those training car or press car Indy cars where they just take like an Indy car and they stretch it out a little bit. Two press seats in. Put the press seat behind yeah. the guy and they sit tandem or, or whatever. Or even a fighter jet that's a trainer fighter jet where they put an extra seat in it. It's yeah. like it's the same shape but you can tell it's been stretched or widened a little bit. That's really what this looks like. There's a few things that are different about it uh, than you'd find on like my DB9. I noticed the mirror mounts are split. I don't believe this is something I have on my car. The thing that's funny is when I had my car and I took it to uh, Chip Foos to breathe on it, and not that Chip needs any more sunshine blowing up his skirt, but Chip will tell you immediately. Chip walked right up to my car and I was talking to Chip about putting a hood scoop in and getting rid of some of the side markers and blah blah blah, and Chip Foos walked right up to these chrome little detail Yours is like a stubby on the side of the car and mine well you go to adamcrolla.com and you hit the car cast uh, you'll see what i'm talking about but as i hold my hand up mine was really about like this it was about an inch and three eighths worth of chrome after this and chip walked right up to the car and he said and i had about eight things i wanted him to do on the car but this wasn't one of them and he's sort of like get out of the way he walked up right, right up to it and he went, what's this? And I said, I, I don't know. And he said, they dropped the ball. This thing should be longer. It should flow. It should continue into the door. And I'm just stupid enough where I was like, ah, I, that part doesn't bother me. But the side markers bother me. And he's like, let me handle this. And sure enough, now, Aston Martin. Probably by that as a replacement that. part for your car, you know. <laughs> yeah. Future versions will have the... We'll call it the, few, the, the Foose line. I don't know right. what you want to call that. Well, let's call it the Adam Carolla Splinter? line because I got Foose into it. He, this guy's just working on tea buckets until he met me. <laughs> All right. Also, uh, something not quite the same. I, I put a hood scoop in. They put some vents in. I, I, I'm happy to report they're metal. I, I, uh, that was the first thing I asked you when we came here. Metal or plastic? Uh, are they metal? And uh, Yes, they're metal. I'm also happy to report that uh, unlike my DB9, although I switched them over thanks to my good friends over at Brembo, we got a true uh, two-piece hat and rotor situation going on here. You have to look a little bit. I don't know, man. Uh, what, is, is that not? Is that an know. aluminum hat? No, I think it's a one-piece. Oh, uh, god damn. It's that's my the upgrade. face red. Yeah. All right, we well, got to have some. You, well, upgrade. That's listen, the, uh, for the Brembo you gotta, upgrade. you got to crack the Summit catalog, catalog for something, right? Yeah, let me check uh, the specs on this. Oh, they gotta, fooled uh, me because I thought that thing was, uh, a, I thought the hat was floating aluminum. Floating hat. No, it, lo it looks nice. because it's, it's close because it's, it's vented that way. And or, it's nicely painted. Trim is, right. uh, trim's nice here. Well, uh, again, the hey, old lady's going to be driving this one anyway. She don't need to be on the track. Um, 470 horsepower. That's what the book said. We have all the details right here if you guys right. want to check it same, out. Same six liter V12. Engine uh, underneath looks looks about the same. The interior 
spectacular. And, and to me, that's the reason you buy an Aston Martin. Uh, they did Leather it, work. Is... They did it in a color that I would have not chosen, but it looks amazing. It's a tr deep chocolate, chocolate brown. With the white looks. It's, it's a weird white, too, because it's not. It's a. It's got a touch of. Touch a luminance or something to it. Yeah, it's 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 a nice combo, especially here in Palm Springs, where it gets up to 175, 180 degrees in in May. Uh, we went through the shop in Gaydon. Remember the uh, Aston Martin? Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, when we went and talked about the leather work, uh, the, the old women were still stitching it, still stitching, stitching it up on an old Singer sewing machine. Right, and uh, they even explained to us that. Each car had to be done by the same sewing machine. No, it was, it was something weirder than that. They had to, to get the matching hides for oh, a no, car. Oh it's, no, it, it keeps going. But first off, they contract with some cow farmer who doesn't use barbed barb wire. wire, so yeah. they can't have any nicks or scratches or anything. The cows who are on that farm got to it's it's got they got to be like, hey man. This, this is, is awesome, life. and then some guy, and then and that's one of those things. It's a cookbook to serve humans. <laughs> like the cows must be thinking, they must be laughing at the other cows who have the barbed wire yeah. around. Go, hey man, this look is at the, us. And that's this is a like, place to be. And someone's going, you're making an awesome dashboard. And then what? We're not even food. We're oh, making right. leather dashboards for Aston Martin. Right. So they have a special place. And the thing about the sewing machine is, it's like two old sewing machines, and they're both a little bit different in the stitch pattern. Ah. So you couldn't start on this car in one sewing and machine switch to the other. and have the other woman finish the seat because the stitch pattern may be a little irregular. So that, that I'm sure we wouldn't tell and well, no one would well, know. Well, thank goodness for the paranoia of the British. Right. Uh, yeah, we would never know. So again, 470 horsepower, rear wheel drive. Four door sedan. Four doors. Um, we consider this a four door sedan? I oh, drove the car. I had plenty of room in the front. Jeff and Blaster Girl uh, drove in the, were in the rear. It, it's really, I mean, it, it is the lap of damn luxury over there. I love the cockpit type console. You know, no rubbing elbows with the person next to you. No, no, <laughs> no, no touching. Yeah, the interior, the stitching, the uh, dimpled seats, uh, the monochromatic uh, carpet and leather. All the trim, the metal work the, is The gorgeous. trim, the brush work, the stereos, the, the speaker grills, the knobs, every, every piece of exposed uh, aluminum, titanium, everything's stainless got a beautiful something. brush, stainless, whatever look. I mean, it's just, it is a work. I mean, it's, it's art. I don't, I don't understand why more people don't consider what this is, 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 is art. Um, <laughs> Sadly, still got that horrible yellow sticker. Oh yeah, well, the, well they've, they've done a little bit better because the visor's now been removed to about, it's about an inch and a half uh, right. high as opposed to the six inch standard one. Right. So they, they've gotten a little bit better where, it's, where it now only covers half of the surface area of it, but, right. um, but it's, it's still, still interesting. It's still, uh, the, the point is this, you could not spend any more time thinking about this or executing it. It is spectacular. There's there's no part of this car, especially from the interior, where you look at it and go, well, I guess they kind of dropped the ball yeah. on that. They chinched that on the knobs. Yeah, they, they saved a few nickels on the knobs. So that's from the parts bin right. or from Range Rover Th or whatever. Are all, but then they put that gone. crappy, stupid sticker on the thing that tells you what? There's an airbag well, in the car. Didn't we determine no that? Shit. Didn't we determine that in Europe and some other countries that they don't have that stupid sticker? In Europe, you can get this car, or at least the DBS, with the, probably the DB9, with the great bucket seats with without the, the airbags. seats that don't have the airbags uh, in it. The yeah, those were dynamite. We yeah. One other thing is interesting. Take a look at the rake on the on the door as it kind of. I mean, it doesn't open flat. It no. It, no. It, 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 it's it, like. It's like Lamborghini-esque. It's kind almost scissor-esque, and it, it comes up a full 21, 22 inches. Uh, remember getting out of the car and that whacking against the yeah. curb? And then there'd be that one where it'd slide out, and it'd just make it over the top of the curb, and then your fat uncle would get in the back seat. And, and you, 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 you have, have to, to rock it, to, <laughs> rock hey, to pull? Uncle Manny, can you rock a little? <laughs> Maybe you ate a little too much shrimp at the buffet. Yeah. Do that rock Maybe. Plus, the suspensions would just... The cars we drove growing up, this is well, you'd get in the car, you'd see the whole thing just That's seventy the seventy four Broham that we were cruising <laughs> around in. <laughs> wow, even the look at the glass. 
I think it's the like, glass is insulated. Well, it's weird because it's like it's, it's double. It's it's, it's like laminated, a, but it's got like the the V groove. Oh, group. all right. It is. Uh, I I think it's two pieces of laminated. It's probably bulletproof. We didn't read the brochure, but it's probably. I got like, all the specs right here. We'll James get on that Bond after bulletproof we Bulletproof things. Let's take a look at the motor. Let's pop the hood. All right, I'll pop the hood. Pop it. Uh, you can feel that aluminum hood. Here is one thing that uh, I, I'm so happy that they fixed. I don't know if they moved it to the rear or whatever, but the battery is not under the hood. So thus, if you'd like to jump start your car, and you're going to have to, because the thing about the Aston Martin is you got to keep this bad boy, or at least you used to have to keep this bad boy on a trickle charger, because if you didn't, within three or four days, dead. Drive your damn car and it wouldn't be a problem. Right. Well, come on. Every day? The point is this, and I don't know if they've corrected that. One would hope they have. Uh, so, since the battery is under the passenger seat, and by the way, Sandy, it's a great example of Ass Martin. Just Not the you, black, stupid, painted one. If you take a look at the plastic, black, crappy, whatever, just even even the uh, pneumatic hood openers are finished in aluminum. Like, they just didn't, they don't miss anything. But uh, if you needed to jump start your car, you couldn't get to the battery because it was underneath the seat. So they would put a connection in front that you could pick up and put the alligator clip of your jumper cables onto and put the positive one onto this Frankenstein bolt that's hanging out here and then, you know, find a ground and then jump start your Aston. Well, in my car, my car has a thin plastic tube. It is literally an inch wide and the knob, the screw, the metal that you're supposed to hook the alligator clip to is a full inch and a half down the tube so that you try to take these jumper cables and these squeeze clamps and you can't, it won't get, it, it's this crazy. I already it's, saw. It's, it's, it's like, it's like, it's like when, you, here's what it's like. When you're, you ever get the vending machine and you get the Funyuns and in the vending machine and the thing falls halfway off the thing and it just gets caught a little bit. Oh, you yes. start putting your hand in there like a chimpanzee. That's what it was like trying to jump my car. Standard Aston Martin fare. Nice. Big, big aluminum work on the plenum up there. Big, big V12. And again, basically the same motor I have in my car, and somehow they've massaged another 20 horsepower. 470. I would say a little bit of intake tweaking and a little bit of exhaust work. Yeah? Technology, who knows? It looks good. It's clean and it. It's a it's, big motor. It fills up the engine. It's still a nice, you know, a lot of cars are getting more where they shroud out the engine compartment. You can't see a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. I still like it. They leave a lot of the, the beauty of the engineering for yeah, you to There's to really only see. one problem with this particular Aston Martin. Oh, I know where you're going to go with it. Hand built by Aston Martin. Final inspection done by Rene. Rene? You don't want some dude named Rene. He, he's, he's German. Yeah, Ren, his name is Rene Zottel. Zit that. What the zitten? I just I, don't want a that. dude named Rene or, or Randy. How would you like to be buy a two hundred and twenty thousand dollar car inspected by Randy? Randy Schultz. Yeah. No. No, I want some guy named Horse. Horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Something scary. A little scary. Something scary. Something that yeah. he walks around with a micrometer in his pocket. Something. Yeah. Angry. Checking, checking Checking lines. Yeah. Checking things. So Rene inspected this bad boy. All right, let's spark this uh, white giant up. All right, let's do it. You got the keys? No, I don't have keys. I don't have keys. <laughs> Those guys, they the don't car. have keys to Aston Martins. Oh, yeah. Oh, there it is. No more keys these days. It's almost sad. It's kind of a key of source. It right. is a key. Get your sound? Yeah, murmur's nice. I think these things are going for the low twos. I think a little more than a Panamera. Uh, uh, I think they're a lot more than a Panamera. A Panamera, I think you can get a Panamera V6 starting in the, the 60s or something. Yeah, but that, that ain't any 
that's that's like one of those fake deals. Yeah, the uh, the excursion's available with a, a small gas efficient V8, but you're buying it for the large diesel or V10 that they came with. All right. You know, they ship two of those to the dealer to meet EPA. Uh, all right. So they they start in the mid 60s with the engine that nobody wants. Uh, they work their way up to a V8, like some all wheel 80s. drive. I'd say 90s, high 80s, early 90s. By the time you get the one you want with the twin turbo and the all wheel drive and the Connolly leather and the blah, blah, blah on the Panamera, yeah. I think you're probably looking about 155, maybe 160. I'd say the, the Panamera if drive line probably crushes this car, but then again, who's driving this? Not you and I. Right. Your wife's driving this That's car. That's right. My mistress, I mean, my wife. Your, your new my, old lady. My, uh, my new, late, old, my new yeah. old lady's going to, my, my trophy, my. My wife. Your, your wife and kids will have this car while you'll right. be driving the, the DBS. Right. That's and I, 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 I think this thing is, uh, yeah, so you think the, uh, so you got the Vantage coming in and the the V8 Vantage coming in in the low ones, mid-low mid, mid low ones, yep. 120, 125. You got a V12 in that You got now. the V12 Vantage coming in, I don't know, 170, 180, something like that. I don't know, but like that's that. got to be a, uh, a cool car that's to check out. That's a fun car. You got the uh, DB9 coming in, I don't know, 165, one, somewhere 170. You got the DBS coming in about 250. I don't know why. I don't know why there's a big chasm between the DB9 and the DBS. It doesn't seem like it should be that big a chasm. Well, they have to have that. That's the you know. All right, and then you got this thing coming in. I'm guessing somewhere between two and the DBS. But if you really want a bargain, go to eBay. Get like a 2006 Vanquish for 90 grand. That's a car. Are... Byron Allen selling his. That thing, <laughs> seriously, the guy drives one. The point is, is that, that car sold new for close to 300. Probably pick up one of those Vanquishes for high 90s. And tons of good Aston Martin stuff. And the late model stuff is dynamite. Yeah. One of the things that, that I'll still say is like, you know, when it comes down to like this versus the Panamera, the Panamera may have a, you know, a handful of more uh, driveline options, but it's gonna you know beat what? it by 10 minutes in the Nurburgring. But who cares? Because I'm gonna be styling with uh, something that looks a little bit nicer, in my opinion. Let's put I'm it going, this way. I'm going Aston Martin. You pull they up should... in this or the Panamera, the the uh, the valet will be impressed. But yes, this this is style wise. You'll be I... the only guy on the block with one of these. A little exclusive. All right, that's us. Well, there you have it.